Yes, welcome back. Um, let's continue from where we left off. Um, we were talking about the HIPIC, what um, Kufo did. We wanted to know the monumental activities and infrastructure that Kufo also contributed for the economy of Ghana. So we hit on the HIPIC and then the um, Ghana 50. Yes, the job 600. Job 600, well. and then the road construction. Mm -hmm. So um, we will carry off from where we left off and then go to our Tamils and see what he also achieved before um, Mahama. So, Charles, yeah. can you? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Eric Kukudongo, uh, for having me. Um, yes, as we were talking about in Kofor's administration, mm -hmm. so um, this type of revaluation mm -hmm. of the currency then created the opportunity for foreign investors to feel that they could do business in Ghana. Okay. Because now we are giving them 10,000 of our old CD for as a one new CD. Okay. And they, they pair it up in Ghana, uh, sort of started to get that international recognition in terms of it even reflecting on the international money exchange rate listings. Mm -hmm. Ghana appeared on it, okay. you know, and, and so people were coming into Ghana to do business. But it's just him creating that environment for private enterprise mm -hmm. and confidence and that freedom, the freedom of speech and freedom to engage in business, okay. it made Ghana a, an economy that was very attractive to foreign, 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 investors. foreign investors. And even in the diaspora, mm -hmm. people that have left Ghana for a very long time okay. uh, uh, had a really big interest in Ghana and they, there was the avenue created for them to come to Ghana to do business. I think one thing that is also maybe significant and worth uh, mentioning was the fact that Kufu also created the environment whereby people that were very aggrieved uh, from the old TNDC administration, mm -hmm. he created some kind of a reconciliation council where it was a national forum where they would meet in a big hall and people came in to bring forward their grievances and their hurts. And I think it helped in terms of healing mm -hmm. uh, the nation of Ghana. And I think that is also worth the Emotional noting. recovery, isn't it? Correct, mm -hmm. because the nation needed that uh, healing uh, process. So mm -hmm. that can also be something that can, can be said that before did. Which was, also, uh, which was also very good for... So what about Atamels? For Ghana. What um, <laughs> is this monumental achievement? <laughs> but as far as let's, let's close before... Uh, smart is, is okay. Let's close, let's close before, before uh, yeah. quickly. Mm -hmm. um, come to the end of his administration, the HIPIC, uh, the, um, the Ghana at 50. Mm -hmm. Expenses had gone a little bit wild um, in the second term. And then the CD started also, Yes, of yeah. course, they are spending too much. And the city then starts to go down, which has mm -hmm. some negative impacts on your GDP per capita okay. and the way the world sees you. So Gross it, those things, yeah, those things, uh, economic stuff. That mm -hmm. in our next session, mm -hmm. we are going to delve deep into, you know, things to do with GDP, with our money supply, with failing banks, with mm -hmm. all these uh, sort of complex. Mm -hmm. Uh, investments, investments yeah. uh, like the Japan royalties, Japan the Obutan, and all these complicated stuff. The, the other one is what the Japan and Obutan. There is and also the Asasi, uh, Asasi, and all this type Asasi of house or whatever. very, very strange names. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we will come to those mm. things, but obviously to close off with the first one, come to the end of his tenure. You know, uh, people felt that. They were, uh, so was he losing grip um, close to the end of his tenure or what? The thing is that when obviously government comes into power, four years is too short, they want eight years. Yeah. When you give them the eight when they said the good term, you give them the eight years, then coming up to the end, they're like, it's luck. we don't care. We've got the eight years. My name is in the history books. Goodbye. I don't care what happens next. Or maybe, maybe it's not like that, but mm -hmm. the way that you know the grip that you had initially you lose in the grip losing the grip and yeah. then you start spending money wildly people start accusing you of having a hotel or your son having a hotel you know them type of things mm -hmm. you see and then obviously his uh, 
brother probably showing up on the rich list mm -hmm. of Ghana as maybe number two or something like that. You know, these are the things that makes people feel that maybe, uh, you know, monies are being siphoned left, right, center. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of, you gain a little bit, you know, you don't really become less popular in a way. But even that, Kofu still had some, you know, good, good grounding and still a, a real fan base. Mm -hmm. And so when it came to the 2008 elections, elections, elections then Nana, the way that Kofu had run it, if it wasn't for losing that momentum, mm -hmm in the second half it would have guaranteed nana into power mm -hmm. and that would have been brilliant because at that point you know you would have had to you know uh, probably an extension because mm -hmm. ndc had been there for a and long that, time and that PNDC, so, blah, 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 blah. so it, it could have, have had even three chances could chance have been great to, and nana yeah, obviously extend, nana could have uh, yeah, China, yeah. but uh, obviously it is known that there were some in in fighting in the N NPP and so that probably they, um, they they could not. Why do that happen a lot, especially in the parties? You know, they fight each other. And whenever there's disunity, you can't really function as a team. Correct, correct. You know? So, but anyway, let's... let's, let's in any case, then that. that led on to uh, President Atamel's But You see, so all the time we're talking like, okay, when the MPP come, they finish the coffers and then they go and they, but it is not always the, the case. Mm -hmm. So you realize that from the, at the end of the first tenure, mm -hmm. Ghana had discovered oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, whereas uh, the NPP came in mm -hmm. and the coffers were finished by the NDC mm -hmm. under Chairman Rollins, when Kufu was going, there is oil in the pipeline so coming to Ghana. So Atamel's at the end of the time. Correct. So Atamel's silver lining. Correct. Atamel's mm -hmm. situation was not as bleak as Kofos because mm -hmm. now the new NDC government coming in, there is oil mm -hmm. waiting for them. So there is there is something. You got something. And so Atamel's took over. And um, his first uh, 2009 to 2012. And Atamel's was the probably one of the main architects. Uh, behind uh, Rollins, uh, obviously working as a vice president for Rollins, so mm -hmm. he knew the game already. And I think, surprisingly, as I discovered today, Atamel's did a lot of good work. Mm -hmm. But it is his one was like the book, doing it by the book, mm -hmm. such that mm -hmm. in terms of he came into sort of downsizing downsizing the, the uh, minis minis ministerial yeah. uh, uh, offices, offices yeah. he downsized it and it is estimated that he saved Ghana four billion dollars four million dollars okay. four million dollars by doing so that. yes mm -hmm. he exercised some sort of restraint on expenditure these are little things that help the economy and that puts money in individuals pocket you know in a way because you create jobs with the, the, the excess or the Correct. sort of surplus that is there so okay. that people will also get something to Correct. do. So, so, at so will, if at leaders Atamel's are going to be cutting down on all these areas, mm -hmm. you might think it's little, but it might go a long way Correct. if you put it in a very um, good sort of sector or area. It's going to help the ordinary guy in. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. So, Atamel's was doing it by the book. He brought down Ghana's, inf Ghana's inflation into single figures to something like 8% okay. from maybe 14% under maybe uh, what he inherited from Kofor mm -hmm. because they spend a lot of money. So he was trying to do to correct these things and then he also had the oil. He created a fund. Mm -hmm. He created a fund with Ghana's name okay. on it. It's Ghana's sovereign fund mm -hmm. that he used to do stuff. So is it so under Atamels it's not like a button as I say yeah or whatever you, and all this type of thing he used because the funds are for Ghana. So you if you create a sovereign fund the name has to be a Ghana X X X Ghana name. Yeah. yeah exactly. So Atam even if you go to the West, that's the same thing. Britain can't mm -hmm. put any other name than the Britain Correct. or the Royal, whatever. Because you don't so want to I was lose. expecting them, you know, they might have their own explanation as there to is, why there is no explanation. They have to put 
<laughs> they have to no because they they are you know they they, they they here and there you hear explanation as to how they are able to you know to 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 come in with that name so such names it, it is not it is i think it's ideal as a country collectively to put down the name of ghana even if you want to expose ghana to the international uh, you know uh, stock exchange Yes, you got to so that if anything happens, they know it's Ghana. But got now, to it Ghana. if if you have a different name, it means there could be some kind of um, th there's no transparency. If anything happens, correct, who is to blame or correct. where is it? Who is accountable yes. for that? Because what you do is that when you set up a private company, you're taking state's money into that company. Uh -huh. You're going to float that company even to draw in more money. Yes, I agree with this Ghana Beyond Aid concept. Yeah. But when you're doing something, you've got to say that it's for Ghana. Because when you're out of office, it, it is going to disappear. Or is there is is there any policy on the stock testing that you can't allow maybe a country in the stock exchange sort of dealings when, when a country is involved, so that's why maybe they went private with that company. Yes, but if you have a stock, it, it might if, be, it if, might if, be they, they have their own reasons. If, if, if you have your own stock, uh, stock exchange in your own country, mm -hmm. I say, why don't you put whatever national thing in the Ghana and stock Ghana. exchange and build that Ghana stock exchange? Mm -hmm. Because you said you are independent, you are beyond aid. Mm -hmm. Mobilize the funds from within. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? And build your stock exchange. Don't bring it to somebody's stock exchange and say, oh, I can't put a name because at the end of the they're day... They're saying it's a tax at the end of, haven and all that. You see, this is where monies can get locked up. We right? will come to that. We so come let's to let's that. finish with uh, Matamels. So Matamels did, did a lot of good um, things in terms of going by the book. Mm -hmm. Downsize the, uh, uh, the, um, the ministerial... Uh, uh, office number. Uh, yeah. number from 85 to about 73 saving yeah. Ghana four million dollars uh, mm -hmm. so many things he did as I said he had a sovereign fund but in the name of Ghana he was a very passionate man who sought it for to for the betterment of the ordinary Ghana and his ideas was also some kind of a socialist idea like one and commerce one okay. to help and so he did these things by the book and he did it sort of really well mm -hmm. however when it comes to something monumental, then it was also difficult to say, did he secure with the oil that he got, did he secure us maybe water 24-7 for all Ghanaians, you've got to secure the electricity, did he use the oil maybe to set up an, right, an, alternative, uh, an alternative electricity, mm -hmm. probably not, and so um, then, then you know, eventually uh, there was a problem. You know, when he got ill, and then being the only uh, let's continue with the next ex president um, that uh, so that is late. Thank you for watching and subscribe. Um, we're coming back with the next series. Watch out! Welcome back. Uh, we are continuing from where we left off. Um, please. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and then put your comments below. If there are any questions, we will get back to you. Thank you. Charles, let's continue from where we left off. Atamels. After Atamels, I know it's Mahama, but run down Atamels, you know, um, factors and let's move on to Mahama. So, as I mentioned before, in the manner that he handled the economy, it was by the book. And so he started to correct some of the things, obviously coming up to the end of before the administration, the expenditure went a little bit wild. Mm -hmm. So he brought in some kind of some Sanity. Austerity, yeah. austerity, mm -hmm. and he started to make sure. Mm -hmm. I think even though with this issue about the constitution, the 1992 constitution, mm -hmm. uh, which was giving overwhelming powers, maybe Atamels was probably the only president who didn't necessarily take advantage mm -hmm. of that position and he was very you know very very fair mm -hmm. you know try to bring all the size into his government he was mm -hmm. the one who went to Tamahabo mm -hmm. and condemned their corrupt practices correct i remember he was very correct. passionate and, and it was sincere 
very passionate in his speech. Um, yes, he yes. condemned the Tamahaba operations, you know, their mode of operations. Yes. He condemned them. That's right. So he was one of the very passionate. He was a good man. Um, very patriotic spirit. Yes. Mm. It's a good man, but as they say, the good always die young. Mm. Yeah, they say that. So he, 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 he did very well for Ghana. And so in blessed memory, we can say he was a great guy. But in mm. terms of main structures, we didn't necessarily, once again, we couldn't have any main structures that we mm. could say that Atamil specifically built this whole mm. builder. Mm. But economic wise, he handled the economy well. And he tried to, uh, you know, improve the GDP figures, you know, mm. blah, blah, blah. So that's where he was. And then. So, um, <laughs> after that, what happened to Atamel's? Um, it was President, His Excellency um, John Mahama came to power. Correct. What was the monumental achievement of Mahama? Uh, Mahama as well comes into power um, that was under the 2012 election. Mm -hmm. So he obviously at Tamils couldn't make it. So he continued and he won that 2012 election obviously to become president. So he served as vice president and then now a president uh, in 2000 and 2006, uh, 2016? Yeah. yeah. 2006, no, 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 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, to, 12 to, 16, yeah, to 16, 12 to 16, so obviously with him coming into power, the oil had really kicked off, mm -hmm. um, um, but major problems, started. major problems in terms of all the things that Atamels was doing, in terms of curbing the currency, the devaluation of that currency, mm -hmm. Atamels was holding that currency so that the Ghana because Atamels reduced, and Atamels, the Ghana debt, debt to GDP ratio was under 2%. Oh, wow. It is probably the only time I ever heard that, you know. Mm. So he had reduced the debt, you know, national, you know, how much the government was borrowing and allowing enterprise to flow. But then the opposite started to happen under John Mahali Mahama, mm -hmm. that um, we diluted the currency. I think I don't know that for a fact, but mm -hmm. from what I gather, that Ghana went printing more money, and mm -hmm. so it's like a down dilution. Mm -hmm. When you print more money without backing it up with productivity, you reduce your value. The value. Mm -hmm. So the, the value CD, of your CD started falling. Um, you know, you got issues with you know, the banks, failing banks, um, they, then you get doom so. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, he built an airport, uh, extended some part of the Kutuka International Airport. Yeah, uh, 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 There was attempt to build certain hospitals in certain villages and there were a lot of projects that were I, not... I, I think Mahama also did a lot of it good, isn't it? Well, some a lot of these no, things. No, the, 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 the money involved, the value for money was a little bit of a problem. There was no value for money. But at least, you know, the, yes. compared to the previous ones in terms of infrastructure and amenities. Yes, yeah, some, 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 some sort of infrastructure. But the value for money was a problem. No, there was no value for money. Because the $266 million for the um, Dubai interchange was over um valued isn't it correct yeah. yes yes over so in, in under his administration you could see a lot of people who add zeros at the back of certain projects mm -hmm. you know projects were not they didn't go through the proper due process you know and people was it internal that people were selling um what is it called were selling contracts or it was mbb um, look, I, 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 you know that I don't quite remember people that. selling contracts. Oh, okay, okay. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, like a lot of contracts. Things. You know, people have contracts, and then they will, they will, they will sell it. Lobbyists are going to come in, and then they will be, you know, selling it. And it, so it's, it's bit... this created a, a huge problem, as in a lot of projects that I were think not. I, I had the same thing. Projects that were not completed. Well. They were not completed. A lot of starting projects, they were not completed. 
and even if they were if they were completed sometimes the standard of work was very poor so they, so for example you build roads maybe without good guttering Mm -hmm. uh, you build an airport and it floods the next day, you know, mm -hmm. like flooding. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, value for money. You know, yeah, they, they did what they have to do, but ultimately it wasn't that quality, you know. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. It means that you, 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 your, your estimates and all that was over, over, over estimated, over estimated and in order to, in make order profit. to make more that is like serious individual pockets corruption so it, it was at least he's done some infrastructure amenities which obviously compared to previous pre presidents um mm -hmm. that wasn't there but you know the value was just over Overly, you know, is we can't even yes. comprehend the, that. The, the thing is that um, so, the thing is that we have to be careful. Mm -hmm. We have to be careful about that because the fact is that when you come and you build something, mm -hmm. it's of an inferior quality. 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 Mm -hmm. It breaks down the next day. It mm -hmm. floods. Because I can't remember. Overestimated. You know, we, we saw the flooding on um, social media. And then apart from the flooding, when I was going to Ghana, I think last year or last, I think the year that they built it, about six months later, I went to Ghana. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you come out straight from the, you know, from the plane, mm -hmm. you walk through an alley, yeah. it's, it's a covered tunnel like yeah. that. Yeah. And then I saw the walls of that Oh, you the know, it's, it was peeling off. Oh, and I said, wow. you know, this can't be possible because we walk through, you know, um, international airports and we see how, you know, their materials are. They are very. They use very good right. quality materials, and this thing is not even a year old, and it's but it's enough. peeling off. So, so you kind of think what what's happening? This is what, they this have is what, the good vision, but you know. The quality I, I, I wouldn't even that. call. I wouldn't even call that good vision, because if you do that for your, if you do something for your nation, you've got to do the very best. Yeah. If you cannot do it, don't rush and do it. But what, what about because what about maybe it's not his fault? Maybe the people that were subcontracted maybe abuse, you know, that trust and then started siphoning money into their pockets and then using inferior quality for you know the work. What about that too? Uh, that because we don't have. That we yeah we don't have proof, but the thing is that uh, you know you are the president, so, so you have to oversee accountability. Yeah, and that's why these are huge. These are huge sums of money mm -hmm. leading the nation into debt, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So if you borrow to invest, you in have to make sure ensure that is value for money. money. You do a money. very quality project that's that right. will last the, the ten, country. The tendering, the tendering process. Yeah, you got to. Uh, it's not like you building. Maybe you build something, you build a hospital that you could have otherwise built with 20 pounds and you build a hospital for 60 pounds mm -hmm. and you say that you had a vision mm -hmm. and you are building a hospital and maybe it's not even completed. So there were a lot of, there were a lot of problems. Because there, there should be the, 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 the budget, mm -hmm. you know, um, committee uh -huh. who will stipulate, you know, individual sort of sections of the project. Um, yeah. So it's, it's a bit... It's a bit so there were, there were definitely problems and he ultimately, uh, he had to hand the country back to the IMF and say mm -hmm. that he wasn't able to... Uh, Viewers, we are going to run up. So can we run up with a little bit of um, Mahama and Kufuado? Then let's, let's run yeah, this let's, up because yes. I think the next... Mm -hmm. um, series is going to be on the japan so we're going to we're, we're going to yeah. go into the economic side so of things can you um talk about a very monumental achievement of mpp which is nanado and i know that you're going to talk about the free sh because that's <laughs> that's their, their, their song you know yes, it's yes, their yes, national yes, yes, yes. anthem yes yes you know um free yes. sh that's yeah. that's the monumental that's, that's the main, the main achievement yeah. and what else do you think but, but once again once again, when we when, when when you're closing up the Mahama era, mm -hmm. then what you are now having is that this time when the NPP comes in again, uh, Mahama couldn't really. He, he had said that he, he couldn't do the job anymore, handed Ghana over. But then the problem was that the banks 
started failing. The bank started failing because the banks were. It started taking... failing during his. Yes, uh, yes. Before it went into the hands of Angus. Yes, because when obviously when uh, Akufuado took over, and then obviously with the new governor, um, Mr. And Anderson, or Anderson mm -hmm. uh, Doctor. Uh, became governor of Bank of Ghana and then started looking into, into the activities the, of the banks. Yeah, that's when it became clear. It became clear that um, under the Mahama regime. So what I don't get is that nobody was res being, you know, um, brought to sort of. Nobody was accountable for all that mess. Nobody was brought to justice. There was no investigation. Even if there was, nobody was in prison. There was nothing. Anyway, well, this, that's this, for another. That's, that's for another time. time. But obviously, the banks had started to collapse. Nana took over with the promise of the one district, one factory, mm -hmm. and then obviously the free H SHS, SHS has become. And also, I think the nurses mm -hmm. also he They'll does something. Paid, and Good. then road construction ah, as well. Da, 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 they da, da, still da, da, have da, da, more da, da, to da. do because. Kumasi and Accra, you know, the dual, whatever, carriage is not completed. They haven't even started. They started and they stopped. I don't know who started it, but they have to complete it. That's stop and start. Yeah. So we will get to the nitty gritty of that mm -hmm. on the next series before we hit road mm -hmm. uh, with Ejapa. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe so that when the next video comes out, you have your notification and then you watch. Send your comments in, please share and like. Thank you very much for watching and we will um, definitely come with the next series.